Kimberly ADA counselor, who made hateful remarks towards the local biking fraternity in a Facebook post over the weekend, is now fearing for his life after a Kimberly pastor organized an intervention. The intervention, during which the A counselor Rocket Fori would have been given an opportunity to publicly apologize for his remarks, has now been cancelled. Fori this weekend dropped a bombshell when he made the post, lashing out against the users of motorcycles, quads and scramblers, whom he said, made him blind with anger as they revved their engines. He referred to them as rubbish before adding that he wanted to see their blood and brains on lamp poles and in the tar on the road. The post, that reads as follows, has since been deleted everywhere. These damned motorcycles and quads and scramblers are revving their engines until one goes blind with anger, as they take no person into account. They just think about themselves and when those engines scream into hell, I just wish to see pieces of steel, blood and brains against lamp poles and in the tar road. The rubbish just think how wonderful they and their bikes are, without thinking about the sick and elderly and shift workers and babies, as long as they can be cocky and show off. You can't educate them as they swear at you and gang up against you and then make even more noise to taunt you blood and brains and pieces of skulls and intestines on lamp poles give these hateful people without a conscience satisfaction. The post sparked a massive response from bikers and members of the community calling Fori's comments totally unacceptable. On Sunday, Fori posted an apology on his Facebook page that re-translated, I want to sincerely apologize to motorbike riders for my post on Facebook and the referral to serious fatal consequences. My intention was not aimed at all motorcyclists, but I still want to express my sincere regret and again ask for forgiveness for my cruel post. If it is possible to understand, I want to say that there is a group of motorcyclists in my area that speed extensively and their motorcycles make an immense noise, especially over weekends and on Sundays. I am not justifying my behavior by this and express my honest remorse and hope you can forgive me please. However, Facebook users were having none of it, with more than 200 comments by yesterday afternoon, mostly containing threats and saying that his apology would not be accepted. You should have thought before you insulted us. We don't accept your apology. John Livingston posted, Mr. Coward Ockett, I again dare you to contact me. You will swallow hard on your own eggs. You are scared. Jackals Duplessis stated, Old horse, can I tell you something? Your sit is booked. You better not stick your head out of your door again, rather live like a recluse because, believe me, if the bikers of Kimberley find you in the street, I see only darkness for you. You obviously don't know what the word brotherhood means. It is disgusting words you uttered about our brother and sisters. It will be held against you for the rest of your life. You can apologize as many times as you like, we are now blind and will not accept it, Adolf Kui at Potgita posted. Others called for his immediate suspension from the DA. We, the DA voters of South Africa, demand that Ocket Cornelius Fori resign from the party or be expelled from the party for inciting violence against users of motorcycles. No conversations are needed and no explanations can be acceptable. Strike one, you're out, was Johan Andy Kruger's reaction. DA leader in the province, Andrew Lowew, yesterday confirmed that he had received numerous calls from DA members about the post by Fori. We firstly want to apologize on behalf of the DA in the province for the utterances made. It is unfortunate that a DA councillor has gotten himself involved in a conversation that could have been handled differently. It is completely unacceptable, L.O.U.W. said.
He added that he had not yet had contact with Fori and that the party was still collecting evidence in the matter before deciding on the way forward and a possible internal investigation. We, as the DA, will not allow any form of discrimination or hate speech, or allow members to be spoken to in a condescending manner. Irrespective of the person involved, we will deal with such matters with no fear of favor, L.O.U.W. added. Flip Kuhn, pastor at the Church for Ordinary People in Kimberley, who has a large number of bikers as members, said that he originally organized an intervention between Fori and members of the local motorcycling fraternity following the massive outcry about the post. However, last night he stated that the intervention has been called off due to the fact that Fori is now fearing for his life. Kuhn said that Fori would have been given an opportunity to offer a public apology during an event expected to be attended by motorcyclists at the Trim Park Honor Dead Memorial at 6 p.m. tonight. Tensions are running extremely high among the motorcycling fraternity. They feel deeply hurt and are reacting accordingly, Kuhn said. He concluded by quoting from Romans chapter 1219 in the Bible, Beloved, never avenge yourselves but leave it to the wrath of God, for it is written, Vengeance is mine, I will repay, says the Lord, saying that it was not our place to take revenge, for elite yesterday afternoon indicated that it was unlikely that he would attend the meeting. This was before the meeting was cancelled. The majority has already indicated that they would not be willing to forgive me, even after I posted an apology on social media. Therefore I think it would be unsafe to attend a meeting where it will be me against a large group of motorcyclists, he said earlier yesterday. Fori added that the original post was made out of pure frustration of several years. Diamond Fields Advertiser